I have prepared my entire, pretty much my entire career to go and play at the highest level of the Olympics. Um, since 2016, I've been prepping for this year. And then boom, our very first game, ACL meniscus torn. Mm. Um, and it was awful. It, it wasn't, I, I wasn't in too much pain. I didn't really know what happened. It felt, I've never been injured. Let's, let's put that out there as well. I've never been injured. Yeah. Um, I've been very fortunate um, to not have a, um, an injury that kept me out. And then, so I knew something felt different. Um, I didn't hear a pop. I didn't necessarily go through everything that, you know, people say when you tear your ACL. I didn't have that. Walked off the field. I was good. Well, they did the ACL test in the dugout and the orthopedic surgeon kind of gave a weird look to my trainer. And I'm like, just tell me, just tell me, I, I want to know I'm right here. Like, I just got to know. And he goes, well, it looks like ACL may be impacted or affected. I was like, okay, well, didn't want to hear that. <laughs> and so I um, got an MRI the next day and sure enough, ACL medial meniscal, meniscus, sorry, which is on the inside part of my knee, um, were torn. And it was going to be eight to 10 months minimum. And I didn't have that, or sorry, eight to nine months. I definitely did not have that. This was February, the Olympics were in July. This is before everything hit um, as far as the coronavirus. And so I was like, there's no way I can get surgery. There's absolutely no way. Well, the Olympic Committee sent me to the University of Utah, who has a great um, orthopedic surgeon out there. So I got another MRI. Turns out, same, same, same um, diagnosis, ACL meniscus. And he was like, you know, same thing, eight to, 10, eight to 10 months, we can get surgery. And he's like, Olympics are out of the question if you get surgery. And I'm like, all right. It, and I'm already in my mind thinking, but I'm like, all right, let me talk to my family. Let me, let me, let me figure this out. Immediately I got into the car and I was just like, I cannot get surgery. I cannot. If I, I've been preparing for this for way too long, I'm just going to brace it up. I'm going to go to physical therapy to get my thigh, my, my, uh, my quad, my hamstring, uh, my calf, get it strong. And I'm just going to roll with the punches. I'm going to, I'm going to, take the pain, which I wasn't in too much pain, thankfully, um, or really any pain at all. And I was going to do it. I was so going to do it, actually. <laughs> I had been hearing so many people have been like reached out to me um, that, and it was very hush hush. I didn't want to tell anybody. I didn't want it to be the new, the, the news story. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not the type of player to like put myself out there at all. And so I didn't want anybody to know. But the people, the girl, people that did know, as far as like doctors and everything, they would tell me so many stories of like, yeah, we have soccer players who played without ACLs. We have football players that play without ACLs, MLB players. And I'm like, okay, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Yeah. Like, you know, so I had so much reassurance that I could absolutely do this without an ACL. Um, and I was going to absolutely do it without an ACL. And then, um, and then uh, as we all know, the coronavirus came in in what was it like end of end of february i believe mm -hmm. we were at the university of washington and we flew home we flew into seattle that morning flew home that night because of everything that was going on i called right away to the university of utah i said i need surgery right right away well and they're like what all elective surgeries are shut down right now um so you'll be at the top of our list and then we'll call you and I was like well, well actually I'll call you <laughs> like every day <laughs> yeah. and so um so yeah once I heard in California at least that the elective surgeries were starting to perform again um I called the University of Utah right away and I said all right let's do this um and so they did my surgery date was um May 5th Cinco de Mayo I actually drove to Utah because I didn't want to fly because mm. I knew I had to get a COVID test Right. So I drove to Utah, got a COVID test on May 1st, and then um, I had to quarantine for those four days. Um, and then May 5th, I had surgery. And then here we are, five <laughs> weeks and a, five months and about two weeks later. Oh my um, gosh. So yeah, much. It's been a crazy journey. 